All right, once we're ready to get started, you're going to take the end of the string that does not have the needle attached, and you're going to tie it to one of the end strings on your loom. You use about two or three knots. It's important that you tie it on the side that has the shorter strings. So for example, I'm going to look at where my strings wrap around the wood dowel. You can see my strings on this one. Stop right here. If I look on this side, it's gonna wrap around further and those strings are a lot longer. So you wanna start on the side with the shorter strings on the end, not the side with the longer strings. Okay, so I have my knot in there, a double knot. If you wanna do a triple knot, that's fine. You can tie your string to the right hand side or to the left side, whichever one works for you. I'm right-handed and I tend to like tying it on this side. You can leave this string here now, or you can go ahead and cut it off. That is also up to you. Okay, now we're gonna look at our pattern. When you read the pattern, you can read it from right to left or left to right. Either way, as long as you keep it consistent throughout the project. So my pattern is red, 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 white, red. For me to pick up the beads, it's easiest to have them in a lid or a tray, and then I'm just gonna go through and pick them up with my needle. Sometimes I have students who prefer to physically pick up the actual bead and then put it through that way. If that works better for you, go ahead and do that. But for me, this is a little easier and I get poked less. So I have my color pattern, so three red, one white, and three red. You can see by the size of these beads that my strings are gonna be too far apart on my loom. So you can either leave them how they are for now, or you can adjust them so that they're a little bit closer. I'm gonna leave them how they are for now just so I can show you how to make them work once I get my beads on. Okay, so I'm gonna take those beads and I'm gonna pull them onto my string until they get really close to my loom right there. Then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go under my strings of my loom. When I pull it through, I don't want to pull it so tight that that string moves over. I'm going to keep it pretty loose. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I want to separate my beads so there's only one bead in between each of the strings. This may look easy when you're watching someone else do it, but a lot of the times it takes a while, and the more practice you have, the better you'll get at it. Like right now, I don't want to cooperate. <laughs> Okay, so once I have one in between each, I need to go back through the beads. So I'm gonna hold my finger right there, to hold them in place. And then I'm gonna go back through the bead. And it's really important that you're over your strings this time, not under. So I'm gonna go through this bead and over that string, through the bead, over the string. I can keep going. It's important that you don't go through that string or under that string to go over it. Okay, I get done with that row. I'll pull it through. Okay, and again, we discussed how my strings are a little too far apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull it so it's as tight as it naturally would go. And then I'm going to adjust this a little bit so that it's where it wants to be. Okay, then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna adjust these so they're straight across. So that is my first row.